Smart pointers. So pretty much in C++, we right now have three types of smart pointers. Those are unique, short, and weak. The whole idea behind smart pointers is that we don't actually handle the memory deallocation by ourselves, but by the actual scope that language provides us. So the language deallocates the whatever data we allocated by itself whenever it runs out of scope. The first thing is with the unique pointer. It's just a pointer that uniquely points to a certain data. Whenever it runs out of scope, it just deallocates itself. You don't need to write either free or uh, delete or whatever you're using for that. You are just creating a unique pointer and whenever the ownership of that unique pointer runs out of scope, you just deallocate it. That's the whole idea. It deallocates itself. You can, of course, swap between different unique pointers, whatever they provide, or just reset whatever it points to. But the idea is simple and pretty easy to understand. The other thing is shared pointer. Shared pointer comes with a reference counting, hence the word shared, because it can share the resource with different amount of pointers, hence increasing its reference counts whenever you add another shared pointer to the data of whatever you're pointing to. So pretty much it has to allocate a control block, and you need two allocations for that, one for the pointer and one for the control block. Language C++ solved the problem with make short method that actually allocates two of them at once. And you don't need to worry about that anymore. Right now, all you need to worry about is just a cyclic reference so that you want to, for example, deallocate the short pointer, but there are still multiple short pointers, let's say referring to a certain data that you want to deallocate, and hence you cannot deallocate it. And you need to figure out what else is also sharing the ownership about a certain data. The last type of pointer is a weak pointer. Weak pointer is just, let's say, a view for the short pointer from whatever the short pointer, the weak pointer was created from. And you just check with the weak pointer. The weak pointer has no ownership at all about anything. And you just check whether or not the short pointer still is valid, it exists or whatever happened to him. And that's pretty much the whole idea behind them. You don't deallocate the memory by yourself, but you let the language do that for you. And it's very helpful and good for you. So yeah, that's the whole thing. Thank you.